Hey, what's up everybody? Welcome to this video. So, um, <clears throat> one thing that I picked up recently, which was, uh, new to me, was the, uh, the iFlight Sussex E Mini F7 flight, flight stack. Um, I got this on Get FPV. Um, fucking watch. Um, so... Basically, it, it, on their website, it just came out. It's new to them. Um, and I, I was looking for a 20 by 20 flight stack to put in my uh, race drone that I'm going to be running this year in 2021. Um, I'm looking for something that I can run that's inverted, um, that small form factor that will fit in my newbie drone. Um, pretty much all the parts on here, uh, minus the uh, camera as well as the motors. Um, I haven't, I've done a review on this. Um, but I'm pretty much just going over everything as I build it. Um, so the reason why I went with that is because it does have a 20 by 20 flight stack. Um, I like iFlight stuff and I like this one just because it was more plug and play. Um, I'll show you guys here basically what I'm working with. I kind of have everything put together, just thrown up here. Um, I'll separate everything just so you guys can see. But, uh, <clears throat> the flight stack, um, like I said, 20 by 20 uh really nice you know i flight you know the way they put everything it's really easy simple small form factor easy layouts um this is the esc so as you can see it's a direct plug into your flight controller which is nice um you got nice big pads here for your power uh as well as your uh to connect your motors um really nice array of uh of fets on here for power uh this does handle uh three to six s um, which is nice. Uh, I'm planning on running this thing on 4S, uh, I, which, I mean, you guys are probably seeing these, the Tattoo 1050s. Very, very common, popular battery. Um, but that's what I'm going to be running on here. Hopefully everything runs smooth. Uh, pretty much everything in the kit, um, for 59 bucks, you get, you know, your ESC, you get your flight controller. Like I said, the reason why I went with this one is because it's more plug and play. Um, minus a couple things which I wanted to go over uh, when you're running some uh, basically when you're hooking up your VTX as well as your uh, receiver now the receiver I'm planning on going with this is either Crossfire or Tracer I still haven't purchased it yet I'm still doing you know research to find out which one's gonna work better so if you guys have any input on that uh, let me know input helps and that'll help me you know with this uh, this racing season. Um, I really don't want to go with FR Sky just because I don't have telemetry and then FR Sky has just gone to shit to me personally and I've been running my Radio Master so pretty much I have all options available. So um, on here you have you know nice big pads for you know your 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 battery ground, um, your 5 volt ground, uh, you have um, <clears throat> on here your your RX4, your TX4, as well as your RX5 and R, uh, TX5. Um, you have this input here, which is going to be your receiver. Now, the instructions that they give you, I feel like gives really good detailed instructions. Let me show you guys on here, which is not this board. Um, I had to actually go back and scan the QR code on here, and that basically gives you a whole layout of everything that you're going to need. Uh, but they do give you nice detailed instructions of basically how it's going to be. Don't look, read this one. This is for a different, uh, this is for the Subsect Micro 2.1, which I used in these. Um, these are the Turbo Bees review coming up. Um, but everything is online and everything's available for you. So just a little bit of background in here on this particular one. It's, it's a gold plate of plug. Uh, you got the black box, which is eight megabytes. Uh, it does accept the Cadex Vista. So if I ever want to take it out and put it into something else, it will support that. Um, and there's no need to solder the wires, which is awesome. Um, it does have the battery 5 volt and 3.3. So you can run FR Sky. You can run full uh, battery voltage seven to uh, 24 volts as well as the 3.3 of your running spectrum. Um, it is the STM32 F2, F722, uh, 260 megahertz. It's got the MPU16, MPU6000 gyro. Um, it's got a barometer on it. The OSD, it's got the flight OSD. Uh, what else? Um, 
It's got a UART 1 pinout, UART 2, 4, 5. Uh, UART 1 is for your VTX, UART 2 is for your receiver, UART 4 is if you're running GPS, and that is a pinout on here, which is not on the instructions, mind you. Uh, on here, it's going to be this bottom one, which is going to be, it's going to be alongside this bottom one, which you can use for LED and or uh, your, what was the other thing, beep, the buzzer. So, and you can also run your uh, uh, GPS off that as well, which is nice. They give you that option. Um, it's just not laid out. You have to go through it and kind of dig. Um, UR5 for ESC telemetry. Um, it is uh, D-Shot times 4. Does uh, enable, it does have smart audio, runs an IRC Tramp VTX protocol, which is supported. Um, the firmware that comes on is the 4.2, so a fairly recent firmware, which I probably will not change. And the mounting pattern is a 20 by 20. Um, actually, that's, not, that's my VTX. Um, the ESC, six layers, double-sided double PCB board. Uh, it's two ounces, 1.4 millimeters thick. Um, and this is all coming directly off of uh, Get FPV's, web FPV's website, uh, which is the same from iFlight. Um, so on here, basically, I didn't see too many things on this, but I kind of wanted to go over it. Um, you know, your plug here is going to be for your video. Um, your plug here is going to be for your, uh, what do I have this going to? Why did I have this pinned out? What was I going to? I don't remember. I gotta figure it out. I gotta go back to the thing. Um, but you got your video input here. Your uh, and you get they give you various sizes because so they basically give you a clusterfuck of cables that you have to go through and figure out. Um, so I've just been kind of figuring everything out as I go. Um, one of the complicated things was with the VTX. So you had your VTX here um, with the wiring. Now I did have to change on here the VTX. Uh, output, which I think was this one that I needed to do because this one I had pinned out all ready to go. Um, I had to switch up something on here. I don't remember what it was, but I had to switch out. No, it was not this one. This one was good. This white cable here came clean, ready to go for uh, Crossfire or Tracer. So this will this one here will work just fine if you're running Tracer, which is going to be your uh, five volt, your signal wires, as well as your ground. Um, this is the one here that I had to change up and modify and basically go from battery to 5 volt so that I can snip it here and then run my VTX. Uh, now I am going to have to basically rearrange the cables on here in order to get this to work. Um, but all VTX has changed. With an iFlight you may just be able to direct plug and play with this particular one. But I wanted to try out the HDLRC. Uh, if you wanted any information on this one, uh, non-flight footage, check out my other videos. It's in there. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much it guys. This is what you get. It's a direct plug and play. Um, you know, and then with this one here, uh, this, this large pin out here, it will accept your Cadex Vista and you do get a multitude of options and different wires and plugs to make everything work. Um, it does come with an XT30 connector in it, but they also send you an XT60. Um, which is this guy here. So they give you both options, which is nice. Uh, you know, just a bunch of cables. You, they give you all the standoffs, um, your grommets, and your hardware, which is nice. So uh, I don't know if I'll do a build, a build video on this one. I'll probably just put it together and kind of guys show you guys the final option of it. But uh, And they also give you the capacitor as well uh, that is capable up to 6S. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, you get your standard USB, uh, micro USB on there. Uh, so yeah, just a, sorry about that. Stupid camera cuts out of me. Um, but like I was going back to, it's a very easy, simple to use basic board um, once you find the iFlight instructions. Um, and you just basically have to change over the small wires, like in my case, because of what I'm using. Um, but uh, yeah, other than that, um, we'll see how this thing mounts up and I'll have a video in the future of, uh, you know, my 2021 race drone I'll be using this in. Thanks guys.